Melvin, uh, you know what you're doing? I almost got your drain clear. Oh my goodness. That's not the way we clean drains at Parker and Sons. We're the Valley's drain cleaning experts. We'll even camera your line for free. Oh, and I promise there will be no Melvins on your job. Call 602 to repair to get it done. The year was 1985, it was my rookie season, and I was playing for the then St. Louis Cardinals. We were traveling to Cleveland in the very first regular season game of my rookie year. We were gonna play the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland Stadium. In Cleveland Stadium, they have a notorious section of their stadium known as the Dog Pound. Most NFL fans are very familiar with the Dog Pound. People who dress like canines and bark at you when you're out on the field. In the fourth quarter, we were backed up inside our own five-yard line, and the two-minute warning came about. Jim Hannafin, the head coach at the time, decided we were going to pound the football out of our own end. He said, Wolfley, get in the game. I went running onto the field. I was just a rookie. My tongue was bouncing off in between my knees because I was so excited I was going to get the opportunity to actually get in there and get a pound of flesh. Well, we were backed up in the dog pound end zone, which made us huddle right in the end zone. And as we were standing there in the two minute warning in the huddle, suddenly a milk bone came down into the middle of the huddle. And then a dog biscuit came down and I looked around, I was like, where are these milk bones coming from? Where, where are these dog biscuits coming down? They're coming from the sky. I looked at all the other veterans and all the other veterans were just looking around like this. Not even phased by these milk bones and these milk biscuits coming down into the huddle. Finally, a big old six inch St. Bernard milk bone came crashing down into the middle of the huddle and stuck right into the turf at Cleveland Stadium. Looked around, the veterans again, not even phased. I said, you gotta be kidding me. I picked up that milk bone, that big St. Bernard milk bone, and I turned towards the dog pound. And I said, you're, you're gonna throw milk bones at us? And I reared back and I threw that milk bone with everything that I had. And as I was letting it go, every veteran in the huddle said, don't! To this day, I still remember going, what? You know what happened. For the next 90 seconds, we were showered with milk bones and dog biscuits from the dog pound. Showered. They were shattering off guys' helmets, shattering off their face masks. Guys were spitting it out of their mouth. It's the moral of the story. I guess it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world after all. <laughs>